In this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make this hair growth oil right here. This is going to help nourish your scalp, promote hair growth, help retain moisture, and help retain length. So let's get into it. <laughs> today i am back with another video how y'all doing i'm doing all right i hope your day is going good in today's video we are going to be making some hair growth oil so we're really going to just get right into it this hair growth oil is on my website for sale but i decided to show you guys how to make it in case you guys wanted to make it yourself at home it might be a little pricey i don't know that's up to you if you want to do that but if not you can go ahead and check out my website i have two different hair growth oils and i'm showing you how to make one of them so definitely check that out if you don't want to make the hair growth oil i do want to just give you guys some information on the hair growth oil that you guys might want to go purchase so i'm going to show you guys how to make it i'm going to tell you guys the benefits of each ingredient and then i'm going to tell you guys how you guys can use it to lock moisture into your hair and to help retain length so we can get them inches baby healthy hair all 2023 do y'all see this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so before we get into this video make sure to like comment and subscribe that'll really help my channel that'll really help this video keep getting pushed out so that we can build a community we on the road to 1k baby okay so so let's get right into this video let's go Alright, so I'm going to be using this measuring cup and a measuring spoon as well. I'm going to be using this measuring spoon to measure the amount of oil that I'm going to be putting inside of this bottle. So as I mentioned before, I am making the same amount I would make to put inside of my 100 milliliter bottle, which is my crown growth oil. So we're going to start off by obviously making the oil and I'm just going to give you guys some info on each oil that I'm putting in here. I'm not going to give you guys the exact exact measurements just because this is my own formula and I don't want anyone taking it and using it when I took a lot of time to make this formula so if you guys do want this exact oil then you guys can go to my website and purchase it but for now I'm just telling you guys the ingredients and you guys can kind of use the ingredients in your own way so the first oil is extra virgin olive oil and that helps condition dry hair it strengthens hair follicles it repairs damaged hair and and it also softens the hair which allows the hair to be more manageable. This next oil is avocado oil and it helps strengthen the hair, it helps reduce dandruff, prevent breakage and it also helps lock in that moisture to seal in the cuticle cells which will actually prevent your hair from breaking off easily. This is our jojoba oil and it helps maintain a natural pH level on the scalp. It also helps unclog the pores, it hydrates the scalp, and it also helps prevent hair loss. I love this oil also because it helps strengthen the hair follicles which will actually allow your hair to grow in much healthier, much stronger, and much thicker. This is our castor oil and it improves blood circulation, it helps control hair loss, and it's also enriched in ricinoleic acid which will help keep the hair and scalp very healthy. I didn't want to use too much castor oil because I wanted this oil to be for all hair types and castor oil is a very heavy oil. So this last oil is grapeseed oil and I love grapeseed oil. It treats dandruff and it makes the hair soft and silkier. This is a really light oil. I really highly suggest using this oil if you decide to make your own formula. So we use all of our carrier oils. Now we're going to go in with our essential oils and I am using rosemary oil. This helps treat hair loss. It restores tissue damage and it also prevents premature grain. And here we have our vitamin E oil. This oil is a hair hydrator that will boost the scalp's health. It'll stimulate hair growth and it'll help increase the hair strength and shine. This is our peppermint oil and this helps increase the hair thickness. It stimulates the blood circulation and it treats hair loss. 
Lastly, we all know about tea tree oil. It helps unclog the follicles and it helps nourish the roots. If you guys think I'm being skimpy on the essential oils, I'm really not. They're just very potent, so you don't want to use a lot. You want it to be like a balance so that the essential oils and the carrier oils can come together and work and do what they're supposed to do without creating any itchiness or scalp irritation. As you guys can see, the oil is pretty lightweight. It's not too heavy. I did this because I wanted most people to be able to use it. I didn't want it to be something that would weigh our hair down. And if I did mention it before, this is the exact same amount that goes inside my 100 milliliter bottle. I'm just using my at home bottle because I didn't want to use the bottles that are for you guys. So I just warmed some water up and now I'm just going to sit that bottle in there so that the oil can get warm so we can do our hot oil treatment. I just let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and once it's done then we'll get into how you can use the oil. So this is what my hair is looking like. I actually just took them out some twists not too long ago and my hair is feeling just a little dry so I'm deciding to show you guys how to use this oil and also take care of my hair at the same time. So over here we part our hair into sections when we're doing anything to our hair. So I'm just going to put my hair into four sections. I'm going to start off with three sections but eventually I'm going to be working in four sections. So we're going to start with this back section and I'm going to actually part this one section into two sections. So I have this spray bottle, it's just filled with water and we're going to start off by spraying my hair and my scalp. So I'm going to just put this oil directly onto my scalp and massage it in for a second. And then I'm going to go in and just apply it directly onto my hair and this really adds slip to my hair. It makes my hair feel so moisturized, so easy to detangle and the point of even doing a hot oil treatment on your hair is to actually help increase the hair strength. It actually promotes hair growth and it's a way to prevent your hair from getting dry after shampooing it because obviously shampoo strips the moisture from your hair so when you do a hot oil treatment before it's less less likely for your hair to be dry afterwards because the oil is protecting your hair. So after applying the oil onto your hair and scalp, you just want to put your hair into a twist and then repeat the same process around your entire head. Quick 
quick little break you guys if you guys don't know this is my hair growth oil i just dropped my hair care line if you guys need any oil to lock in moisture to help retain length to grow your hair longer stronger and healthier we just launched our pre-sale and we're doing 10 percent off and the results will speak for itself enjoy <laughs> Up a friendly band, take a member, let's see y'all party back and all these girls fuck. It's big bags, just another friendly band, take a man, working back, party back and all you bitches fuck. If it's up. So this is what my hair is looking like. It just feels really moisturized, really silky. So to make sure that my hair and scalp get the nutrients it needs, I'm gonna just put this grocery bag, yes, a grocery bag, because I don't have a dryer that I can sit under. So I'm gonna use this grocery bag, just put my scarf right over top of it and let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. So this is what my hair looks like after an hour. As you guys can see, it looks very moisturized. My curls are very bouncy. So I'm gonna go rinse this out. I actually let this sit for about an hour. I'm gonna rinse this out and show you guys what my hair looks like. Okay, I'm sorry y'all, I didn't know I was this close to the camera, but as you guys can see, my curls are really defined. My hair looks very moisturized. My hair isn't stiff, it's very bouncy, and I am just loving it. Like, look at it, shake, shake. Like, you can tell when your hair is very healthy, when it shrinks, you can tell when your hair is very moisturized, when it's not stiff, like... I'm just so proud of myself because I've came a long way with my hair journey. I'm finally learning what works for my hair and just look at it. Yes. All right, so I actually put my hair into sections again, and I'm gonna show you guys the second way you guys can use this oil. So my hair is freshly washed, it's wet, and now I am going to condition it. The purpose of the leave-in conditioner is to make sure that you keep that moisture that is in your hair. So I just applied a little bit a little bit of conditioner to make sure that I have something in my hair that is going to keep my hair nourished and keep it from getting dry. And now this is the second way to use the oil. So I'm just taking some, applying it to the palm of my hands and rubbing it into my hair. And this is going to lock and seal in the leave-in conditioner, which will allow my hair to stay moisturized for as long as possible. And the goal is to have my hair stay moisturized until the next wash day. So a oil, if you guys didn't know, is not made to moisturize your hair or anything of that nature. It is made to seal in moisture it is a sealant so when using oil you want to make sure that you are using it on top of another product and not just applying it directly onto your hair and thinking that that is going to keep your hair moisturized because it is not 
That pretty much wraps up this video, you guys. I hope that I gave enough information on how to make it, the ingredients, what it does for your hair, and how you can use it. If not, make sure to comment down below if you have any more questions, if I didn't answer anything that you guys may have had. Make sure to check out my website. I just dropped my hair care line. If you guys don't want to make this yourself and buy all those ingredients, go ahead and go to my website and get you this oil. I also have a herbal infused oil as well. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace and blessings. Mwah.